Hello, hello, hello there, and welcome to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. My name is Catherine, and it's so good to be here with you today. I hope all is well with you. Well, I love to say this. This is the day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Today is a beautiful day in the month of September in which we want to just praise God and give Him glory. And today happens to be Sunday. And I always say Sunday is for worship. It's the time in which we want to give God praise, honor, and glory for all that He has done. And that all He's going to do, for all that He's going to do into the new week ahead. It's a time for us to stop and reflect and know that we cannot do this life on our own. That we need help from God. So as we humble ourselves under his mighty hand, that he's going to fill us with praise and thanksgiving for all that he has done for us. And it makes us feel better and it gives him glory. So let's praise him. Let's worship him and let us put him first in everything that we do for the whole day. I want you to just say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. Let that be your chant, even for this week, that as we praise God, we recognize him, we give him glory. We have that attitude of gratitude to Almighty God, that he will continue to open up the doors for us. Those doors that were shut, that he will open them up. And those opportunities that have been resisting us, God will make the way plain and clear for us so that we can walk into our destiny. Hallelujah. I thank God for that. And um, so I'm glad that you're here with me today. As I said before, my name is Catherine. And here at Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy, we study God's Word. And His Word is is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway so when we are focused in on the word of god then we are able to move forward with confidence in everything that we do i want to share with you this word that this is the time to live a real life a real and complete life there's so many things that have happened in the last couple of months here in 2020 and it would make you wonder well what's next but you know what it's actually an opportunity to self-assess and decide how we want to live our life and I'm telling you if you decide to go God's way and allow God to live in you and help you in your life, in your daily decisions, then you are going to find that you're going to end up living the real life, the best life, hallelujah, the best life possible because wisdom will help you to make good and sound decisions. And I'm not just saying this um, at the top of my head. I am saying this because this is what the Word says about our life that we can live a really great life yes in jesus so let me read you this scripture that i think will encourage you um, to pursue jesus christ and his way of doing and being his way of living life and the verse goes like this but now that you found you don't have to listen to sin tell you what to do and have discovered the delight of listening to God telling you what a surprise a whole healed put together life right now with more and more of life on the way work hard for sin your whole life and your pension is death but God's gift is real life eternal life delivered by Jesus our master and that's found in Romans 6 22 uh, through 23 in the message translation and this morning I woke up with this word which was so much um, an inspiration and an encouragement to me and this is what it says 
God knows me better than I know myself and has set me up for success. And I want to say the same thing about you, that God knows you better than you know yourself. And he wants to set you up for success so that you can live the real life, the best life possible. And especially coming into this new era of wisdom. We need God's wisdom more than ever before. We need to hear what he has to say about different things. Even to the very um, simple things in our lives. We need to know what God has to say about it. We need to walk in his presence and feel his, his, um, his presence with us, informing us on how to make the right and best decisions concerning life. Because we don't know what's going to happen, even in the next moment. But when we put our trust in God, when we rest in God, then we are able to make decisions that is going to benefit us and not hurt us. Lady Wisdom Speaks. Thank you, Lady Wisdom, for favor. favor if you want favor with God and man and a reputation for good judgment and common sense then trust the Lord completely don't even trust yourself Proverbs 3 4 through 5 Lady Wisdom asks, who is influencing your life? Favor. If you want favor with both God and man, then trust the Lord. So we want to have a wisdom lifestyle. We want to change the way that we do things. And that means that we need to study God's word and really get close to his word and his way of doing and being. It says here, for sin's meager wages is death, but God's lavish gift is life eternal found in your union with our Lord Jesus, the anointed one. Romans 6 23 and one of the things that I have been saying that really really has blessed me is that I've been saying God I love your word God I love your word and I found that the more that I say God I love your word that the more that his word starts to um, penetrate inside of my heart and my mind and my thoughts because my confession my speech is declaring that I love the Word of God and each morning as I have my own biblical meditation and devotional sessions I find that I'm loving his word more and more I can't wait to find out well, what is God saying to me today what does he want me to know and you can have that same experience too you can have that personal relationship with God in which he will speak to you words of life and encouragement that will help you as you go through each day he will clarify for you give you insight wisdom knowledge and understanding about your daily living and I'm calling that living the wisdom lifestyle and that's what he wants to do. He wants to give us wisdom so that we can make wise and sound decisions. That we can 
know things, we'll have knowledge, but with that knowledge, we can apply that knowledge now to our everyday living. And that's where we wanna get to, hallelujah, so that we can be innovative and creative, making changes, being that game changer, helping to shift and change things around us because we can't do things the way we used to do. So you might as well become a creative and figure out new ways of doing and being. And Holy Spirit will help us to do just that. When we get closer to Him, when we get into His Word, He will reveal to us new creative and innovative ways of doing things and making our life better. And not just for us, not just our life, but also for our family, for our community, and also for the world. Who knows, you might do something so spectacular, so unique, so entrepreneurial that uh, it will touch and reach the whole world. And your life will give God glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lady Wisdom Speaks. Happy days ahead. God blesses those who obey Him. Happy the man who puts his trust in the Lord. Lady Wisdom asks, what is stressing you? Happy days ahead, Proverbs 16, 20. Dear Lord, help me to be stress-free. Thank you for making me happy. Amen. Thank you, thank you. Happy days ahead, Proverbs 16, 20. The real life, heart deep molded life in the truth of God. God knows me better than I know myself and has set me up for success. Sin is a dethroned monarch, so you must no longer give it an opportunity to rule over your life controlling how you live and compelling you to obey its desires and cravings. And thanks be to God, for in the past you were servants of sin, but now your obedience is heart deep and your life is being molded by truth through the teaching you are devoted to. Romans 6, 12 and 17 in the Passion Translation. For the wages which sin pays is death, but the bountiful free gift of God is eternal life through in union with Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6, 23 in the AMPC. Lady Wisdom asks, <laughs> Lady Wisdom asks, are you enjoying the benefits of a wisdom lifestyle? The joy of my heart is, God, I love your word. God wants us to live in the newness of life. We are in a new decade, experience, era, and generation. We must think differently. The experience requires that we keep our eyes on Jesus and our ears close to his voice and his heartbeat. There is much excitement in this new adventure into the kingdom of God. It is an experience of real life, wholehearted, healed, put together life. If we can get past what we see, feel, touch, taste, and hear in the natural, then we will be able to accept God's goodness to us in the spiritual. His supernatural love transcends this world. Hallelujah. 
we can be powered by the Holy Spirit to walk an anointed life filled with God's presence. In God's presence, there really is fullness of joy. We want to live in unbroken fellowship with Jesus. Romans tells us not to offer our bodies to sinful things, but start to yield our thoughts, our actions, our attitudes to God, presenting them as instruments of godliness and godly change. Surrendering to the Holy Spirit, we are obedient to the standards and the ways of God. Hallelujah. We also want to be obedient to the teachings of wisdom. As we commit ourselves to a wisdom lifestyle, we will find that our life will become rich and free from regret, from shame, from offenses. We will be able to move in the confidence of God's love for us. So this is our prayer. Dear Lord, this is our prayer. Dear Lord, I thank you for grace. I thank you for your love. I thank you because you want to bless us. And Father God, I pray that we will receive your blessings with joy, knowing that if we accept your way of doing and being, if we listen to your word, if we study to show ourselves approved unto you, not being ashamed, O oh God, of what we do, but walking in the freedom that you offer us, that our lives will be a blessing, that we will live the best life, that we will live a whole life full of meaning and purpose to give you glory. So we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to do right, to live right, and to be like you will have us to be. Hallelujah. All that you designed for us, for your honor and your glory, in Jesus' name, amen and amen.
welcome to Catherine's Garden. It's so good to have you here with me today. And I want to take you around the garden to look at all of the wonderful things that are happening for this new autumn season. And we want to tour and enjoy this time in the garden for fall 2020. And welcome to Catherine's Garden. It's so good to be with you here today. And I just want to take you around the garden and let us look at the things that are happening in the front side garden, in the front and also the front side garden, which I call my urban cottage garden. So I want to show you how the sunflowers have opened up and they're letting out their beautiful, beautiful glow of yellow. It's so pretty. And then also my zinnias have now um, opened up. They look larger and it's, it's really cute. So I want to show you that. And then also we did some, you know, touching up of the side border. Um, adding a little fresh mulch there and the moms have released their flowers so let's take a walk around and look and see what is happening in the front and the front side garden early in the morning it is so very still here and everything is still looking so good and moist my husband updated the beds by adding some uh, black mulch here in the front garden and it just makes everything pop. I just love this view right here um, with the tree, my neighbor's tree, and uh, this whole side border. It's just looking really good. So I just wanted to update you on this, especially when everything has been cut and mulched this to me is a perfect picture of the garden my urban cottage garden or my city cottage garden it's so still this morning it's amazing My kale have really grown uh, to a substantial size and um, I really don't eat these this particular kale because it's so close to the car and the fumes but there's another one um, that I tend to eat in the front um, so this allows them to grow up and have this beautiful design I also see the sunflowers. They have opened up along with a lot of the zinnias. And now the zinnia blooms are much, much larger. And um, almost cactus-like in shape. with their multiple petals. And I haven't collected these tomatoes yet. These are grape tomatoes, and to me they just look so cute here. I think I will, of course, harvest them 
um, today, this morning. But I just wanted you to see these beautiful sunflowers. And it's from a pack of seed from the Dollar Tree, of course. Good morning. Now, these cosmos are about to open up too, and they also are from a seed pack from the Dollar Tree store. And that is what is creating my urban cottage garden feel here. My nasturtiums. I planted uh, nasturtiums from seed and they are now trailing throughout on the front there and they seem to like that section. I remember um, in the 90s, I'm kind of dating myself, when I used to watch Martha Stewart and she used to have a Martha Stewart gardening program and she would talk about planting nasturtiums and having them cascade over her wall and uh, she loved how it looked and she would fill that whole section with nasturtiums well I always had that in my mind and wanting to do the same thing so I planted the nasturtiums there and they did that they actually cascade over the um, the wall that little uh, cement area and I think it's because they love the heat and the warmth of it and so let's take a look at the nasturtiums <music>
everybody is just looking really great. I love how it is early in the morning when it's still and calm and you just sense that um, peace in the garden. And so I want you to just enjoy the garden with me. Each season brings different changes. Each season brings its own special joy. And so I hope that autumn and this time, this time of the year will bring you joy as you harvest and gather your fruits and vegetables, as you enjoy your flowers and just the changing of the temperatures when the sun is out and you can feel the warmth of the sun. To take that time to come out in your garden and sit in your special spot and enjoy the season because it too is changing. It will not be here forever, but you can take this moment, this time to stop, relax, breathe, and enjoy your day. And this is what the garden looks like today. this morning it is actually much warmer than it has been for the last couple of um, days however the trees are definitely changing color isn't this beautiful this scene right here um, each day the maple tree is taking on more color it uh, tends to the leaves tend to change in a, a yellowy orange color and it definitely lights up the garden i love the colors of fall I love when the leaves turn color. It's, it's to me, I love color, period. I don't know if you guessed that. I do love color. Of course, I love it coordinated and looking good. And Mother Nature is very good at coordinating her colors. She's our inspiration. So this is what the garden looks like. Isn't it so calm today, this morning? It's just beautiful. And then over here, let me show you this other side of the garden. I, I love my circle here. I love this area. And even in this border, this little corner garden, and the roses are still blooming. That's Pinky Rose right there. Curly Pink Rose. Nice big fat blooms. This area is going to be getting a change. We're going to be doing some work on the, um, the trees on this end. So we're going to end up having more sun coming into the garden. That way we'll be able to grow more vegetables. We'll be much more successful next year because of the, the sun. So we're enjoying how the garden looks now and we're going to see some changes later on what are you doing for 
for the fall season and how has this season autumn greeted you are you um, out there and seeing the different changes are you enjoying your gardens and if so comment down below and thank you so much i am very grateful for your presence here with me in Catherine's garden i'm also um, going to give you some updates on the deck there is a lot of things happening here and i am moving things out from the off the deck and putting them into the landscape but there are some really special things that I want to show you especially the propagated plants um, they are really well established in their little pots but I'm not ready to put them into the border or into the landscape but I want to show you what's happening to the little buddleia plant the butterfly bush and how it has these little dainty flowers and soon it will be a big bush but in the meantime it's just so so cute so let's take a look at that too and see what's happening on the deck i was able to harvest this pumpkin it's a jack-o-lantern pumpkin and i grew it from seed from some seeds from the dollar tree store and it uh, grew in the front garden and became this beautiful beautiful pumpkin to me it's almost perfect in its shape and I just love it here on the deck uh, with the owls and the hydrangea it's just almost like the epitome of the season the fall season and then we can also see that the chrysanthemums and the asters are opening up blooming and flowering and so this is to me just a very pretty picture right here on the deck so when I open up the door from the kitchen into the onto the deck uh, from the house to the deck it just draws me in and makes me want to come and sit down with a cup of coffee and take in the morning um, the beauty of the day and right now the garden is so still there is not even any wind blowing on the trees or anything it's just so quiet and even the birds seem to be content um, there are times when they carry on and they just make a whole lot of racket but right now it is just so still in the garden and that makes me extremely happy now my tree here uh, my maple tree is a Japanese maple tree I moved it and shifted from one side of the deck to this side here um, I believe because it will get a lot more Sun and um, it was starting to be affected I don't know what was happening what is happening to it but the leaves were turning white um, I don't know if that's mold and the um, ends were crisping up but there are also areas in which it's very green and looking good so um, I don't know if I was over watering it but I think since I switched it over here where it's getting more sun, it's probably drying out quicker. And um, the leaves are starting to revive. You can see some green growth here. A little bit more. Oops, sorry. Yeah, a little bit more green. The growth looks a little bit more greener. And um, I don't want anything to happen to it because this uh, tree was given to me by my son for Mother's Day so it holds a lot of um, sentimental value right now um, for the winter I'm gonna leave it in its pot but put it in a safe place um, in the garden area so that's sheltered uh, but that it um, 
is still outside and it could survive the winter. I think it's going to be all right. Yeah, and uh, there's also some joys here on in the garden on the deck that I want to share with you. Look at this. My rose, it's given me one more bloom. Isn't that beautiful? And it smells fantastic. This climbing rose, uh, it uh, has a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And it's, I can't remember the name of it right now, but I'm going to um, look back at some of my other videos. And if you want to know its name, you can also go back to the video. I think I'll put a card up where you can um, find out the name of this <laughs> rose. But it's a beautiful rose. It's a French rose. And it's a climbing rose. And um, it's giving me some more flowers. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. I think it's still doing well. And then also, this is so cute. I've got to show you this Budlia. Now, isn't that cute? And I, I grew it from a cutting. And to me, it is just adorable. Yeah, Budlia, butterfly bush. And it looks really good. Yep. I grew it from a little cutting. You can see the stem there. I potted it up, put a little, um, rooting hormone at the bottom and um, just kept it moist and it is growing to the point that it's it's flowering like this I think it's just so gorgeous so I have to find a place for it um, I don't want it to get lost in the shuffle and um, I want to make sure that it's able to grow and that when we're doing garden cleanup that we don't accidentally pull it up so I'm kind of ambivalent about what I'm going to do with it I might not put it in the ground I might just uh, put it in a safe place um, with the Japanese maple and just cover it give it some kind of covering uh, so that it'll come back next year and then plant it out in spring but I just wanted to show you that isn't that pretty now, along with this one, I have some others here. Now, this is a rose bush. A trap, um, and this you can find in the front garden. This is a ground cover rose. Let's see if I can. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, and so um, I put it in the same time, and we could. It has definitely developed roots. I'm just seeing if there are roots at the bottom. No, but it's developed roots, and um, it is its own little plant, and it's a crown cover rose. Um, so. Um, I want to put it in a safe place also and to have it come back and then plant it out in the garden as well so I'm happy about this one and then I have my hydrangea cuttings back here which are doing pretty good and then the ultimate one which is down in here. Look at that one. That is truly a shrub. I'm going to be able to um, have a really nice um, shrub, the uh, hydrangea shrub here with this one. So um, I'm going to put them in a good location for the winter. And then in the spring, plant them up in the garden. So just, that's just an update on my propagated cuttings. And, um, 
um, in my past video, the last video that I did, I showed you uh, the harvesting of this pumpkin. And we're definitely in the season of fall and autumn because the leaves are turning color all throughout the garden. All of the different trees are starting to um, show these, um, the shift, the change in the leaf color. And it seems that a lot of my trees are going to be more of the orange yellow shade which is really nice because it, it works well with the green. I just love color in the garden so fall tends to be one of my favorite uh, seasons of the year and I really do enjoy it um, these months of September, October and November. Now you know there's going to be a lot of raking of leaves because I have so many trees all around. But that's okay. We, we work through it. And so come with me and tour with me and enjoy Catherine's garden. are going to get better things are going to change and you're going to be ready for it you just wait and see if you like this video then like share and subscribe comment down below what are you doing for the fall season and how has this season autumn greeted you are you um, out there and seeing the different changes are you enjoying your gardens and if so, comment down below. 
and thank you so much. I am very grateful for your presence here with me in Catherine's Garden. So please leave a comment, subscribe, and like, and also come on back to Catherine's Garden. I really do appreciate you. And so have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for visiting here with me in Catherine's Garden. Bye. For more videos, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time right here in Catherine's Garden. Bye. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you. And may he continue to fill you with this peace. Lady Wisdom says that you are wonderful. You are beautiful. And you're God's gift to the world. So go on out there and shine. And let the world know that Jesus Christ is Lord. And see you next time right here on Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye. If you desire a born-again experience and relationship with God, then just pray with me. Heavenly Father, I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins, and right now I ask Jesus to come and sit on the throne of my heart and to be Lord of my life. Amen. Follow Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy on Facebook and subscribe to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy on YouTube and be blessed.